Good afternoon, Earthbound friends and community and family. This is a tax log commentating with unknown for this very special matinee doubleheader race match. Today we have Mad Cat 65 versus Nanobyte 1667, a wonderful women race. Ah, uh, yes, it's a great day for racing. And I would also like to point out um, today is Father's Day, so a big shout out to all the, fa the Earthbound fathers in chat. And uh, if you don't have a dad and you don't like your dad, good news. I'm your dad now, so hit me up. I'm here. Yes, hit her, hit her up. It should be a fun race. I, I love seeing, um, uh, you know, female representation in the Earthbound community. Absolutely. So I am excited to see these ladies go head to head. And I think without further ado, it should be getting on pretty quick. Um, just a reminder, this is the NPC Cup. So it is always DocSat, PSI Extended. The flag set for this race is Random Enemy Movement and uh, 10 Loose Key Items. Hi, Rocky. Hi, Kyle. Hey, Panther. And Cornbone Deputy Dangle is here. Ah, yes. The great Cornbone. The great, the great Cornbone-ski <laughs> himself is, or sorry, themselves, I don't know. Please correct me. Oh, yeah. Here. He, he him. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I'm all of your dads now, so. Put down those basketballs and pick up your video game controllers. We don't do sports in this house. Oops. All right, yeah, we're good. Had a little delayed start, but... <laughs> Looks like All right, here we go. And they're starting out in three. Nice cheap bracelet pickup. Good for a little defense. Oh, and yeah. And we're going to see if the racers check their teleports anytime soon. But I would definitely go and pick up, you know, potential kid check. This early, you're most likely going to get a kid. So, yeah, we will see. It's definitely always my first thing is I immediately go get the kid. Hopefully we won't have something happen like me where they get Jeff and immediately go fight Boogie Tent and lose. <laughs> uh, very risky strat there. And it is Pooh. So we got a little Pooh friend with us. Let's see if we get some item checks. And teleport checks. We still haven't seen what the teleports are. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. A meteorite piece. Okay, all right. And we should be seeing a teleport check coming up here pretty soon. Nano taking a fight. Uh, I'm a big fan of that. So we have Tucson 3 and 4 side. Nice. That's, that's, no, a, lot of, that's a lot of options. Yeah, I would probably go to four side for sure, um, just to open up desert and maybe do a quick moon side check. Um, Tucson this early isn't really something you want to see unless you have some good stuff to sell. Yeah. Because there's really no other point to it other than paying off Applecad. And we do see Mad Cat going for that moon side. So uh, this will probably be a peaceful Rust Valley enemy, and it is. <laughs> so that is your grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm never going to give him a legitimate child, so sure. Make him the grandpa he always wanted to be. So it looks, looks like, like a good play here. Nano's going for probably mole caves, I would assume. And yeah, we've oh, got, got a check desert. Mad Cat in Foresight. So we've, we already have an early split. But maybe they'll meet back up. And it was a key to the shack with rats. Ooh. Do not want to see rats this early on. Plague Rider Doom is up. And maybe Nano's going to get some mice, some meeseys, little meesey yeah. mooseys. Maybe, yeah. And having Pooh, de way. depending on what psychic he has. It could be a big help. If he's got rocket or bomb from the get-go, then 
she should do all right. Yeah, but those noosemen are like mine enemies so that's fairly far in logic and yeah as we're seeing here she's gonna take a death oh she got away <clears throat> oh and Gurk is saying that mad cat has found a loose eraser eraser Ooh. yeah i hate to see it right. <laughs> never want to see eraser eraser <laughs> i'm sorry one of my least favorite items along with monkey invitation i mean it could mean that it's a late game thing so if I got the eraser eraser, I would absolutely hold off unless like I was forced upon or I got another oh. eraser eraser, then I would be like, oh, well then. Yeah, and that's kind of what the loose item um, flag set sort of forces you to do in a way is to sort of say, okay, well, I got this loose item. It's probably not going to be anywhere near what I need to do right now. But then if you get a double, then that tells you, okay, well, I could have done this. But to be on the safe side, typically you don't want to just go straight for those loose items. Um, they can lead you down rabbit holes. They can lead you down a very bad into a very bad neighborhood. Yes. Um, and Mad Cat is fighting a very mean Frank fly. Looks like she's going to take a death to this. Takes a death to Frankie fly. Was smashing with those attacks. Just brandishing knives left and right. He is rough with those knives. Yeah. Just a dude beating up kids. Not cool. And Rocky, I am only giving my father illegitimate children, so <laughs> thank you for asking. That is confirmed. Uh, I have a cat, so. And, you know, uh, the Kyle. Adoptive. <laughs> yes. And looks like Mad Cat is going to grab some mice. Um, I didn't catch it. Did Nano grab mice from the mines, or did she just get the heck out of there before? I think she managed she died. to get that far before she left okay. and it looks like nanobytes also go into four side our moon side yes she got mice okay cool awesome so both of our ladies have mice which is going to be a big help early game uh something i always mess up with i i really need to be better about grabbing mice personally i'm always like oh, turn my out of my way i'm just gonna go ahead and send it but it doesn't work <laughs> out to my favor <laughs> right i've i've started grabbing the mice whenever i can i gotta keep mm -hmm. in mind the tucson mice and the you know mole caves right and the... um and i'm guessing that we don't have enough money yet to purchase the item from apple kid or maybe they're just not going for it. I'm not sure. Yeah, Rocky, maybe. I feel you there. <clears throat> so Mad Cat going back to exact her revenge on Frank. We'll see how Nano does um, in the Frank fight. And then there is that eraser eraser that Girk was mentioning. Mad Cat going up again. Ooh, what is in that shop? I wonder. Nothing special. There's a couple of so. repel sandwiches in there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, that was my phone. That wasn't from the game, it was my phone. I was curious. <laughs> I mean, does it surprise you that I would have Earthbound Sounds as my, you know, text notifications? No, no one's surprised. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Andy. This All right. Okay, making it through that Frank fight, exacting her revenge. We're going to see what item that gives us. And here comes Nano going up against Frank as well. Looks like we have Wave and Starstorm attack phone. <laughs> Looks like she's got the water bills. Okay, so wonderful. Completely useless. Too bad you can't sell it and get ten thousand dollars, huh? Right. Yeah. Uh, well, at least they got some experience from this. We'll see if Nano makes it through this fight. Oh, oh no, oh no. And Nano takes a death. Yeah, that Frank is mean. He really is. He's He's been giving it to him. All right, and I think Mad Cat is going to 
check the mines because I don't believe she has. What's yeah. up, Chargles? So uh, I'm thinking the play here is to find money and pay off Apple Kid because we really don't have anything else open at this point. Yeah, uh, that's so both probably going to be. Need to. I mean, maybe dip mines for it. Maybe use some repel sandwiches. You could search the desert for the items that are there. Could also give you a loose key item that could potentially open up something else for you. Um, and we're not seeing that from either. <clears throat> oh, and Gurk is saying department store, uh, his favorite play. Loves the shopping. <laughs> gotta gotta get your foresight department store shopping in. It's a local hot spot it's, in yeah, Eagle Land. It's... It's a great tourist destination. All right, here we see Mad Cat pulling out money for Apple Kid, making sure she has some food, and she does not. This last two dollars, they're gonna count. You gotta make them count. Right. I think a banana costs five, so I don't know. However, it is a good idea to just check the trash can in Apple Kid's house because a lot of times, the Ding Dong has food in his trash can. Right, and he oh, talks. Oh, she's going for the awesome, nice, very smart Ooh. play. You get a sprig of parsley, Apple Kid. That's all you get. <laughs> Clean up your house and take a shower. Oh, Nano took a death to a caterpillar. You hate to see it. Yeah, those caterpillars are the worst. They are my mortal they really enemies. Are. Yeah. All right, so this is, I'm guessing, going to open up the seed here. We'll see what she gets. The anticipation is killing me. What oh. do we think it's going to be? Pencil eraser. I was going to say pencil eraser. Oh, all right. So that's, ooh, and it's dog at Everdread. Yikes. So, uh, oh. <clears throat> what to do now? I mean, all you really can do is go to... Happy, happy village. The seed is not opening up for for anything. Um, and what I would hope to see, um, and Nana going back for that moonside fight, not knowing that it's the water bills, unfortunately. Um, what I would hope to see would be something that would open up more key checks. I would look for maybe a diamond from the key, the cabin kid, maybe um, a signed banana. Um, That's a teleporting. that, Um, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully we get the kid in the cabin might have the key to the cabin. We can yeah, only and hope. then it could be it could be Jeff and he could have another item. <clears throat> it could be Paula and then you would have to fight Carbon Dog. <laughs> it, Do at you? least they have the return mice, so if they have to double dip mm -hmm. back in, they'll they'll have that net. I was actually explaining to uh, somebody the other day is big fan of Earthbound, but not really doesn't know much about the PK scramble. And uh -huh. for a lot of people who don't know, you can't teleport into Happy Happy Village. No, so not. it's great to have the return mice because they work kind of like the breadcrumbs in Mother One, and mm -hmm. they let you mark a spot and return. So by having those mice, you can easily return if the logic takes you elsewhere. Right. Same with South Winters, although um, you can also use the telephones and potentially do death warps. And uh, if chat can confirm, did Nano get a Meteoronium drop? Because she has a thousand dollars now. Where did all this money come from? Where, 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 where did, did Nano rob the bank? What is happening here? <laughs> like, all of a sudden I saw a thousand dollars on her side. So I'm not sure. Uh, but awesome she yeah she must have i feel like i very vaguely saw that at like the corner of my eye uh and man can't run away from those mobile sprouts trying to get to happy happy village but I... you're absolutely right unknown with the re um, with the return mice um great you know strat there to set them in places that you it would take time to get back to otherwise which will be you know a time loss Oh, yeah. It had to have been Meteoronium. And Mad Cat looking like she's going to check for some presents. Mm -hmm. 
Checking for the presence in the cult uh, mansion kind of gives you, it can give you an idea of what that's going to be scaled like. And we are seeing Skelpians there. The thing with the Skelpian is that the Sprite could be either regular Skelpian or the Dread Skelpian, which is the uh, tougher version. Yeah. And she's going to steal and take a fight with Master Belch. Nano going to find that pencil racer. So although both racers have taken a bit of a different, you know, path to get to where they're at, they're not far from each other, so to speak. Yeah, this has been quite the linear seed so far, so... Right, not... like in a really weird way, right? Yeah. <laughs> not much room for uh, just going wherever. Open yeah, world. Because, yeah, the seed has been very closed off, so to speak. And the places that they did have, um, you know, required key items for anything to really happen to get past those places. Right. So I'm guessing Mad Cat is either going to go shopping or just go, yep, going straight to see what the cabin kid has. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. And Nano heading over to the old cult town. It looks like we've got some zombie paper mm -hmm. coming from and They Paula. do have the meteorite piece, so that's going to be a teleport check. Absolutely. <laughs> And we'll see our first saint coming up, I'm going to imagine. I'm not going to assume. One thing I like about the, the random enemy movements is just the different movements that they can make. And it's kind of out of place. I'm just hoping to see a teleporting mad duck. That's all I want to see. <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, the mad duck is just behind you, and you're like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> "Where did that come from?" Now, can you imagine it? I mean, like, I feel like that's really not that far out of like real life, like, you know, real life, basically, yeah. of like a duck chasing you or like a goose chasing you. Um, funny story. So recently I was on a road trip with my father from LA to Dallas, which is where I live in Dallas. Um, and we stopped by the Grand Canyon and <laughs> there was this squirrel who just had no fear. Like the squirrel was like, I don't care. Either you give me food or I'm going to like run you off the pathway. And so it was like, <laughs> like basically like walking up to all these people and these, these three dudes were walking by. All right, here we go. First sank. It is Kraken. Kraken's Ooh. not too bad. <laughs> and <laughs> and this one dude was like, just started freaking out and like yelling. And he was like, Ben, I guess the guy's name is Ben. Ben, Ben, no, get the squirrel away. Ben, no. And everyone was just like cracking <laughs> up. It was so funny. And I was like, it's not going to hurt you. And the guy was like, no, I've watched videos about squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> like, the you're teleporting not squirrel. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, yeah, like, you're not supposed to feed the animals. Uh, Mad Cat making it through to Lilliput, very good, GG's. Got first sink down. Nano coming up to Happy Happy Village, gonna find that zombie paper. Yeah. And it was just so funny, that guy was terrified. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the squirrel was, like, being kind of aggressive, like, not, like, trying to, like, not, like, burying its, like, fangs or anything, but, like, did not care. Does not care about the humans. So used to them. So Mad Cat going to three, as is the play to do, because there's literally nothing else besides what the mines that have a key to the shack, and we don't have Onet. So. Right. Hopefully they'll. they I think they might get Onet teleport from Saturn Valley. For sure. Or Summers, or maybe Delam. Yeah. Because then uh, those are both going to give you two more teleports. Yeah. It, so Nano it hot on the trail of Mad Cat. Mad Cat luring those zombies into a tent with the uh, great invention made by Apple Kid. The zombie paper. Right. When are they going to make pretty girl paper? Oh, that was a very nice thing to say. <laughs> hey, yo.
yeah, with races like these, it's real neck and neck because a death from either of them can put one ahead or put one behind. Right, absolutely. And we have seen a few deaths early on, which um, I know I was commenting on this the other day and just in the scramble chat that a lot of times with these random start doc sat seeds, like it can be tough to kind of figure out where to go and there can be a lot of early deaths, you know? Oh, yeah. Getting the logic can sometimes take up to 10 minutes just alone to like be like, okay, where do I go? There was the white sesame seed. She just walked right past it. <laughs> you know? And Neno is doing some shopping here in Happy Happy Village. I'm guessing she's going to set down a mouse and make her way through Lilliput. Oh, no. Well, maybe she has a mouse set somewhere else. And I guess Mad Cat didn't do the mole cave. I thought she went to that earlier, but maybe I huh. forgot. Huh. Ooh. I thought she checked it too. Looks like she's stopping and turning around and going back to three. Yeah, because she needs to go to Saturn Valley. Right. Maybe she just wanted to double check what it was. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know the Ooh. reason there. Those trees. That's okay. This is Earthbound. I hate the way those trees and move. And the Nano... Yeah, they're just gross in general. Um, well, normally they're kind of slow, so you can usually just, like, you know, outmaneuver them. Right. And but... I'm guessing Nano should have repels. Or maybe she's saving them? I don't... I think Mad she Cat got... definitely has repels. <laughs> <laughs> I think Nano got some repels from Moonside. <clears throat> and it looks like we she's did... using some. Yeah, we did just see Mad Cat pick up a UFO engine. So that's rad. Like, that's a good loose item pickup. Because they, we are, you know, we have three. That's going to take you to Summers and yep. get you another teleport. The way those trees move is so off-putting. Bear. <laughs> Where's Crimson Bear? <laughs> I'm ready named for a Crimson Bear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. A Nano couldn't buy any repels because Mad Cat bought all of them in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Nano goes to the store and they're like, sorry, this girl was just here and she was like, give me all your repels. <laughs> We've got Starman Deluxe. Oh, fun. It's smart oh, play putting on the shield. Shields. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Not me. I not me throwing up shields. <laughs> me either. <laughs> Strategy? What? <laughs> Using the actual game's mechanics? Nah. I'm just gonna brute force my way. Yeah, y'all don't just like you know rush on through. Yeah, and uh, Mad Cat taking care of that Starman Deluxe with ease and picking up a Bionic Slingshot. Nice. Nano finishing up her first sank and like I, you know, gonna imagine going straight to three. Yeah. Looks like Mad Cat's gonna go get that Saturn Valley teleport. Oh, well, we don't have the jar of fly, honey, so. Right. Always forget about that part. And there she goes. Looks like Nano's going to the Nano Dusty Dunes. Also going to the desert. What is going on here? Why did both of them go to the desert? <laughs> and McGurk Ooh. says, wow, loose key to the shack. No mines needed. Why did both of them do this? I'm so confused. Nano might actually be going to finally complete Garrett it. Key. All right, so we're going to see what we get from the phase distorter. Getting some, some two uh, key item sank pickups. Yeah, so that's hopefully too good. Onet, you called it. There we go. That's Onet. That's going to open it up. That's going to be another sank. We've got the key uh, to Nano, the shack. Yeah, Nano fighting rats. Maybe looking for experience? I'm not sure. Maybe just... she just wanted to be the exterminator. <laughs> yeah. These mines have need a clean up for a while. Nanobites on it. 
The Kyle Heat says, the this is an interesting seed. And it, indeed it is. Yeah, I agree. I didn't roll this. You can't blame me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and a loose key to the cabin, too. There's just keys in all these trash cans. Who's throwing away all these keys? The carrot keys, key to the cabin, key to the shack. <laughs> and we got the Franklin badge from the library. Ooh, nice. Although that could potentially mean that you have to go and do car painter for the next progression item as right. it is pretty closed off unless, you know, once again, those loose key items come into play. Hey, Rocky, don't <laughs> 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 listen, if you still want me to be your dad, you're going to have to speak to me with some respect, young man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. It is my fault. It's fine. And that cat looking like it's going to check out Giant, Giant Hill, Giant Step. <laughs> big old, big old hill. Big old hill. <laughs> Which is what, exactly what I would do. So GG, Mad Cat, let's go. Nano like... in those mines, still doing her exterminator work. She's just going to repel sandwich through it all. Yeah, and this is going to give her quite a bit of experience, so it could work out in the long run. However, it's a it's a time loss because if she had gone straight to Saturn Valley, she would have found that key to the shack. Yeah. And, um, I mean, the fact that we don't have rocket or bomb, so to speak, is, you know... You do want to see those in these PSI Extended. Um... Just because they are so OP, but it doesn't mean it makes the, you know. Looks like we've got some bukas and taxis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're not my real dad! I'm gonna have to add that back to my blurps. <laughs> now that I'm everyone's dad. What have I done? Ooh. We got oh, this. fun! A little, little nightmare action. We'll see how this nightmare is scaled because we have seen nightmares that are first or second sank and they're just hideous. Just absolutely hideous. Yeah. I've had some seeds recently with Ness's nightmare in the beginning and just, it's bad news all around. Oh, and it does look like we do have Rocket as, um,. That's his favorite thing, so that's cool. Let's see if Mad Cat can get that. She did get that life up, very nice. And Nano over here, fighting enemies in the mines. And who knows, maybe all this extra XP from the mines could be what Nano needs to be. Just breeze on through, yeah. Yeah. Because it looks like Mad Cat's just having a rough time. Yeah. And I went back and watched uh, some of the commentary from my race. And... Ooh, GG, Mad Cat. Ooh, that's, that was clutch. And clutch. She, Mad Cat was talking about she just sometimes likes to just keep bashing her head against the wall until something breaks. Until you break through, yeah, for sure. And that's what I tend to do, which is probably not the best strat, but... Well, it depends on whether you have other options. Sometimes you just don't have other options, you know? And so you right. kind of have to just bash the old head against the wall. <laughs> Money. Well, you're, uh, as they say, SOL because uh, I, I don't have, I have no money. I'm not lying at all. This is not me lying. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Corn! Mac had corn bone. <laughs> Cornbone Me... Ness. <laughs> where is Ness Rocker? Ness. Ness. Where are you? Probably working. Cornbone for the win. Rocky says, as someone who barely shops, I just bash and go. Yeah. The thing is, is that, like, a lot of times I will auto fight. Like, I, I can be a real, you know, I can be real, what's the word I'm looking for? Dependent. Uh on auto fight and just but like a lot of times in the PSI extended and if it's like an attack shuffle or something like that it's not it's not a good way to go 
Yeah. And it oh, can be absolutely. hard to break yourself of that habit of just like, I'm just going to auto fight through. And then it's like, someone's throwing, someone's coughing on you, and then you're just healing and not doing any damage. It, it's just a. And then you get out. life up beta, and you keep using that, and you're like, stop using all my BB. <laughs> yeah. And then you just run out of BB, and you're screwed. Uh, one thing I will do with auto fight though is that like if I see that my kid is dying, I will automatically auto fight because that's an auto life up. So that's a good yeah. thing to remember. But it can be rough with the attack shuffle. Yeah. Because then you don't know. Which... It's like a it's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> yeah, which is somewhat of an irrelevant statement right now because we don't have attack shuffle on. I was just kind of talking. All right. Um, <laughs> And we do have Mad Cat going to do that Franklin badge. And we'll see Nano. She does have a jar of fly honey and a Mr. Baseball bat. So she got lots of good stuff from the mines. Oh, yeah. What's she going to do? She's got the jar of fly honey. She could go to Belch Base. Um... She still hasn't used her zombie paper. So that's going to be another sank for Nano. Ooh, we've got Officer Strong. Captain Strong. Nano going back to Moonside. Maybe hmm. she can rid Frankie Frank once and for all. I don't know why she's going. I, I would. I would not. Well, whatever. A road <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Blah. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she probably. There's so many other things to do. Like, there's so many other things to do. Like, why? Bad cat just beating up cops. You love to see it. Frankie might seem like the logical way to go because he might have, you know, in that mindset, you don't know what you have, <laughs> so he might have something that you need to continue on yeah well she has so much experience and power at this point that it's gonna be you know zoom zoom <laughs> kyle like with his eyes closed just like <laughs> <laughs> but like somehow no one else in the in the world can see like the enemy's nest can see so he just always looks like a crazy person <laughs> And Nano getting that water bill is probably being like, dang it, shoot, heck. That's what I would be saying. But right. maybe not those exact words. <laughs> we got Nano. Mad Cat gonna, yeah, Mad Cat's going to take on the, the doggo. Oof. But. And Nano. Laying down that. That's Zombo paper. Yeah, I agree, Girk. But maybe not. But maybe yes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and Nano taking a little rest while the zombies do their thing. It ain't no thing but a hyper chicken wing. Hyper chicken wing. It's a Futurama reference. Where do, I was like, where do I get those? <laughs> <laughs> what are you keeping from me? Oh, all right. We have Diamond Dog now. Come on, Mag Cat. You can do it. We have a Puddin' Boy. And always got always to say hi to Puddin' Boy. We're low on PP on so, Mag Cat's side. <clears throat> yeah. So with Nano, I'm wondering if she... So if she's going to Saturn Valley, she's going to get the O-Net teleport. Is she going to go ahead and do Belch Base? What do we think? I feel like... Because she's got all that XP from the mines. Yeah. And yeah. my strat would probably... I'd probably go straight to Belch Base. Right, because that's going to be another teleport. And then after oh. Belch Base, I would probably, you know, get... Get the teleport, get the sink cleared out of the way. Oh man, this Oof. is a fight to the finish. Oh no, oh no, come on, come on, little Luz. Luz, I don't know how to say that name. Oh, Mad Cat just keeping it up. Go, let's go, girl, let's oh, go, yeah. come on. Ooh, Girls wee. just want a speed run, let's go. <laughs> he is fighting for her life. Can she clutch it? Poison. 
He's at a PP. She's not giving up. And the battle goes on. Oh, oh, and yeah. Good, good, good attempt there, Mad Cat. Absolutely. <clears throat> and this actually probably will put them, I would say, in my opinion, neck and neck. Mm, it's kind of hard to tell. There's been such a divergence of paths that... I mean, Mad Cat has two sanctuaries so far, right? And Nano potentially has three... Well, Nano has three open. Um, so we're going to see. Right. Yeah. Nano, or Mad Cat is still ahead by having the sink. The sink, right, yeah. Getting that free healthcare. And then I was just like, oh, the key to the shack was right there. <laughs> I don't have enough. I, sorry, I don't have room. I already have a key to the shack. Thank you. <laughs> you yeah, you like to see wild. it. You like to see that. Because then, <laughs> then you just don't have an extra key taking up your space. That's very true. Yeah. Maybe you're going to get rid of that. Ooh, a coin of slumber. Okay, that means that this is probably going to be pretty gnar. We're gonna see what this gift box is. Yep, this isn't gonna be fun. I those scalding cups of coffee, man, they are rude. Yeah, they really are. You're just spilling it's coffee all over the place. Wolf. Yeah, desert wolf. All right, so Mad Cat taking care of it. Catching a cold, but you know, it's fine. Ooh, we got Starman Junior. You know, doing some shopping over here. Oh, star man, gross. You know, in, in vanilla, Starman Jr., you never have to actually deal with him because Buzz Buzz mm -hmm. puts in all the legwork. But mm -hmm. when you have to fight him in the scramble and he starts using that PK fire, it's a bad time. Right, yeah. Mep can't get through that easily. Now we're on to Thunder and Storm, which really isn't. They're... they're... They're, yeah, they're kind of a pushover, honestly. I feel like they're among the Guardian General and Kraken and things like that. And with them being nerfed for, you know, logical sinks, yeah, mm -hmm. their lightning isn't that strong. All right, we're going to see what Mad Cat picks up from the arcade, or, well, potentially Ooh. from the mayor. He's got the diamond. Diamond. Okay. So this could give her side banana. I don't know. And and a smooch from the very famous Venus. <laughs> yeah, and a little smack. Here's a little something extra for me. I want to make um, out of felt. I want to make uh, like a banana peel and then like embroider like a signature of Venus on it. I think that would be so cute. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. So Nano just picked up her, her. Onet teleport. And she's going to get that carrot key right there. And looks like she is not going to do belch base. Hmm. Oh, bonk. You get a bonk. Putting belch base back on the back burner for now. Oh, we got another mm -hmm. bonk. Don't bonk. <laughs> I hate when that happens. You're like, can I please just teleport? <laughs> like, is this a, is this a possibility? <laughs> you just give up and use teleport beta. Right. I've been trying to practice my teleport alpha skills. Me too. I haven't quite got the circular motion down, but I can usually go around corners. Mm -hmm. Now, I can't remember what did... If anyone in chat... Or maybe you remember Unknown. What did uh, Mad Cat pick up from Car Painter? Was it the... I don't remember. I, I think it was the... No, it wasn't... I was going to say Franklin Badge, but that's what you need. Mm -mm. Um... Feels so I don't long know. ago now. <laughs> yeah. So much going on. Is he, like, it's crazy. <laughs> Maybe was it the key to the shack? No. No. Because key to the shack was mines, and then there was a pickup, a, a loose key item. Alright, we're about to get our smooch from Venus. Yeah, I don't remember. Oh, 
There's the runway five. Nano going through the big old hill. Oh, we got the police badge. Mm -hmm. So that's going to open up Northonet and give us yes. two teleports, hopefully, and mm -hmm. an item. Yeah. Could be the Delam that they were looking for. Hopefully it's not just a power-up for Pooh. Yeah, and hopefully it's not, uh, like, deep darkness. <laughs> you know, or, like, <laughs> right. something, like, stinky like that. Oh, we got evil Manny Manny. Oh, no, maybe it was Karaki the Karaki was in... Karaki was a loose pickup Gurk in Saturn Valley. I, we, I don't know what she got there. Could also... Well, we could get a pack of bubblegum and a teleport to Winter's. Like the seed is has I think the I saw are endless. a pack of bubble gum in cat's inventory. <clears throat> I could be wrong. You know, using that cold remedy on. I wonder if she has any life noodles or anything. Yeah. McGurk confirming oh, okay, so that she it got, was... she got gum. Okay. Sorry. Could you imagine, you know, fighting a cult leader and he's like, good luck, kid. Here's some gum. <laughs> Here's a bag of bubble gum. You're going to chew it, but you're not going to be satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> and Nano going in solo nets. Yeah, let's go, Nano. You know, fun fact, uh, the pack of bubblegum in the Eastern version, Mother 2, is called Balloon Gum. Huh. Interesting. And Bubble Monkey is actually called Balloon Monkey. So we have an evil money money and a Nessus nightmare right. on screen right now. This is fun. <laughs> And Nana with the rocket beta should be able to take care of this if she can keep her life up. Yeah. I think she's got this. A rocket beta. No, rocket beta. Yeah, this is a pretty crazy scene. All right. She, she got yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> so those mines are paying off for Nano. Yeah. <clears throat> And we see Mad Cat going up north to Onet. I'm going to go say hi to Mom. Maybe say hello to Dad, which is the telephone. Hi, Mom. Bye, Mom. Nano picking up her second sank. Yeah, it definitely looks like that mines is coming in handy for Nanobite. Mad Cat making her hill climb. What was that? I, did, I didn't even see what she just picked up. She immediately dropped it, so it must have been uh, not that important. Doo doo. So when you have to do the hill climb, do you go get the teleport from? Uh, Liar exaggerate, or do you go get the meteorite piece first? I do liar first, and then I teleport off the hill. I've tried doing a strat of going to the meteorite first and then getting the teleport, but I don't and... know it's faster. Well, I don't think it really matters. It doesn't really matter. It might, I mean, maybe if you do meteorite first and then liar, it's just easier to teleport from there. Rather than the, you know, um, yeah, potentially bonking up on the hill. Right, right. Because you know, when you have, because when you like, say, if you're just doing a race percent, oh, Simon Anna, heckin' yeah, let's go. Um, when you do a race percent, you're just Ness alone. Right. Um. Oh yeah, sorry, Kyle missed that. Yeah, like Gurk said, Buzz Buzz gives a teleport. Sign to space banana. <laughs> Hello, Minamio. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so 
when you go there in later game, it can be more difficult because when you're just nest alone, you just zoop, zoop, teleport up the hill. Right. Okay, and so this is going to be Mad Cat's third sanctuary, I believe. There's a tree blocking her way. Nanobite taking that trip to Summers. Mm-hmm. Going to get a little fun in the sun. <laughs> do, 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 boo, do, boo, do, boo. The best music in the entire world. Right. I wonder I wonder if this will be the teleport to Dalam. Oh, if it is I don't know. The way to the this the seat is just literally all over the place. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's no linearity any longer. I can't. <laughs> I have to do a race after this. What am I doing <laughs> with my life? <laughs> Buzz Buzz gave Delam. Oh, awesome. So. Huh. Okay, well. Huh. She's in go That's mode go then. Mode. Yeah. <clears throat> Ooh, I hate those guitars. It's another yeah. enemy I hate. Uh, honestly, the enemies in the three or the four side department store are just hideous. I P. Dury. <laughs> Rest in peace, the Durians. Lutefisk. <laughs> Rocky, can you explain? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just think the ludicrous I think... is such a funny word. <laughs> it makes me think of King of the Hill. Uh... <laughs> Where Bobby eats all the ludicrous and he gets sick. <laughs> and I think... I don't know about the ludicrous, but I know the Durians, I think, got taken out. I think Tomar changed up some of the random food generations for, um, mm -hmm. you know, just the scramble in general. Yeah. All right, so we're going to see what Nano gets from Summers. We're going to see who Mad Cat's going to fight. It's Everdred, my dude! I love the Everdred. one and only. Fun fact, his name in Earth and Mother 2 is Tom Cheeky. Ah, interesting. And he's dead. That cat has has just absolutely relinquished him. And where I I can't think of that she's gonna go anywhere but Delong. Yeah. And it looks like Nano got Winters. And another jar of fly honey. Fish soaked in lye. Yeah. And this is like a Midwestern dish. Oh, we got a bonk. And a green swirl. <clears throat> I think, isn't Ludafisk also like a Norwegian dish? Or Swedish? I think so. Yeah, I, I think it's something like that. It's one of the Nordic countries. This sounds... Ugh. Sounds sour, you know? Like, it sounds sour. <laughs> you, like, you would <laughs> eat it and be like, ooh! <laughs> you know, like, ooh, it's sour. Let me add some more salt to this. Throw some capers on it. <laughs> I like to throw a little Tony's on everything. <laughs> the Tetarans? <laughs> Sorry, I'm from Texas. <laughs> some Tony's or Tajin. Good stuff. Mm, I believe it's Tajin. Oh. <laughs> you know, like, the J is pronounced... Yeah or ha in like, Spanish. Like in Havenator's name? Mm-hmm. Havenator? Which I, which I always get wrong. It's Jav. I first, it took me so long to, like, actually remember how to say his name. I would always be like, what's up, Javi? Sorry, I'm from Texas. <laughs> like, it's, it's Jav. It is Jav. <laughs> okay. So, Mad Cat, let's go to the love. Oh, bonk. And where is Nano? She is, looks like going through Belch Base. 
I believe she is. And Mad Cat, not even wasting any time. Check. Ooh, wait, wait. She got to go check that one shop. <laughs> you gotta. And DX. Heck yeah. Ooh, nice. That's going to come in handy. Another fun fact the Guardian Digger in Mother 2 is named Hole Master. Which I found very funny. <laughs> yeah. Does does he still do the whole third strongest gimmick? I mean, I guess so because the background's there. Yeah, it, it, it must. I could check my uh, Earthbound localization book to find out, but it's all the way across the room, so I can't. <laughs> I got my but brother I will that back, book, sir. I got my brother that book for his birthday one year. Oh, it's it's an awesome book. I suggest anyone getting it. It's it's a fun read. A nonstick fry pan, heck yeah! And let's see who Mad Cat will be fighting here. And it's the fourth. We've done a nice smooth one, two, three, four. Ooh, and department, it's department store. store monster. This guy can also be a real pain. Oh, the troll teleport from the yeah. tough guy. Tough guy giving Even outside of teleports. <laughs> Rude. Ooh, and a green throw for Nano. Uh, looks like Armistar Spook is being... Okay, he was being kind of stubborn, but he's he, he let it go. And it looks like we're probably going to see a sub hour on Mad Cat's side. Nano going to uh, yeah. Milky Well. We'll see which... I mean, I'm guessing it's, it's probably going to be 5th or 6th. Yeah. Also, Mad Cat picking up Paula definitely helped her quite a bit. Absolutely. Um, Nano never went back to Happy Happy Village, and it's Pokey. Oof. Ew. Big if pokesters. You do not want to see if you don't have paralysis. Mad Cat is being bullied by all of these sprites in <laughs> Pink Cloud. And Mad Cat taking a fight here, which is very gross. Gross. Ooh, I guess she... what to do. That wasn't a green <laughs> squirrel, then. It was not. It was blue. Uh, Nano fighting and not doing much damage to heavily armed Pokey. I would be using Rocket, but I suppose she has no PP. Yeah. At least Rocket Alpha. Bad news. Oh, yeah, you, you hate one. to see it. And honestly, it yeah, sounds like not... something I would do. <laughs> well, you know, I like here's what I'm thinking. You know, she thought, well, I picked up the jar fly honey out of logic. Then right. she got the jar fly honey in logic, but it still was too much. Because sometimes that logic can lead you to a fifth or sixth sanctuary. Mm -hmm. And we do see Mad Cat making her way into Magikent. I never check the shops in Magikent. By that point, I'm usually like, "Let's, I'm in go mode. Let's go." And Me I too. forgot, Me too. I forgot about the present um, on the other side when she crossed the bridge. I saw somebody checking that out before. The one that's going to be to the far left over here on Mad Cat's side. Yeah, correct. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yep, I just. Bypass it all and just keep going. Using that Repel DX very early to ensure nothing. Yeah, because sometimes happen. they'll those be monsters, sneaking around the corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they could spawn really close to the Star Master. Ooh, Nano looking like she's going to fight the arcade boss. Which is going to give her diamond. And then I Hopefully can't remember from there. <laughs> <laughs> that will put her on That's the right path. a good path. thing. I can't remember anything. <laughs> we'll see who the sea mo- Oh, the car painter was the sea monster. Also, um... Well, hang on. I'll, I'll announce that in just a moment. I'll wait. Right. 
And Man Cat getting caught up by one of those Mr. Car Painters. Nano going to fight what we know is the, I believe, Starman Jr. Yeah, there we go. And it's a boogie tent. It is a boogie oh, tent. I repeat, that... we have a boogie tent on the platform. See you later, alligator. I got to make dad jokes now because I'm a dad. <laughs> <laughs> you got to fulfill the role. <laughs> 5329 is a great boogie for set time. It actually beats the world record. And there we go. Mad Cat takes care of the boogie 10 and wins the race to move on to the next bracket in the lovers round. GG Mad Cat. You won 5350. Great time put up for that insane seed there's there's cornbone coming in with the gg deputy dangle i'm sorry but you're gonna have to change your name to cornbone now <laughs> <laughs> you did this to yourself okay <laughs> yes let's keep going let's see if nano keeps going um do we want to bring in uh mad cat four come a little after yeah, if she's Looks willing like she's to. she's there, so I will bring her in. Miss Miss Cat, are you there? I am here. Hello. Hi. Great, great job. Wonderful race. Uh, first of all, tell us what you thought about um, that seed. <laughs> that one felt really long and weird. Start was definitely discouraging because the moonside died to moonside for a worthless check. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it felt really long, but at least it ended up i guess that's how logic played out yeah well what we were commenting on is um just the fact that like it was so closed off in the beginning and then all of a sudden it just went wide open and there were so many options mm -hmm. um to do i have one question after you got the zombie paper you went back to the mines what was the reasoning i that? forgot that i had the meteorite piece so uh -huh. i was like wait i thought the mines was the key to the shack does that mean there's no more open checks? But then I remembered ah, I had the meteorite piece. And so I went right. back to the mines to verify that it was key to the shack. Okay, okay, okay. Because it was funny because Nano literally did this thing. And I was like, what? Is there something that was going on in the desert that we didn't know about? So I was yeah. just wondering about that. Um, but very well played. Thank you. You definitely bought all the repels. Uh, Nano yeah. went to the store and they told her, I'm sorry, but they're sold out. So <laughs> I'm just kidding. Somebody no. came and stole them all ahead of time. <gasps> Dang. <laughs> Dang. Who would do such but, a thing? Awesome. And you will be moving on to okay. the next round. So GG to you. Um, and what I did want to mention is that right after this race is uh, my race against Pepper Crab. Uh, which is going to be a fight to the finish and it could potentially end our friendship. No, I'm just kidding. I love pepper crap, um, but we do need uh, another co-commentator. So if there's anyone who wants to volunteer to commentate on that so that unknown is not on his own, please. It is open for commentary. Absolutely. So if anyone wants to step up and try their hand at commentary, or me and Pepper's race, we will love you forever. It's fun. It's super fun. I know I have to race against Pepper. Me and Pepper are like in real life friends, so it's like it's fine. Mm. <laughs> or you it's can whatever. just listen to the sultry sounds of my voice. <laughs> or yeah, or <laughs> yes. you get solo unknown. But yeah, Mad Cat, great job. Um, I don't know who you're going to be racing. Let me see if I can pull it up real quick. Unknown, do you know since you have the brackets? Um. Well, it's funny. I actually have it closed right now. I can pull it up, though. Um, where is it at? And it looks like... Um, Mad Cat will be waiting for the loser of... Someone from the winner's bracket. From Andy or Jav? Mmm. So. <laughs> That's a fun one. That'll be fun. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> You got this, girl. Represent. Absolutely. <laughs> Girls just want to speed run. Did you know, like, the little music notes when I put that? Did you know what yes. I was singing? Okay, good. <laughs> I'm not that young. <laughs> okay, I'm just making sure.
And Mayo is still fighting her way through the seed. Um, I'm That's actually going to get off commentary because I do have to get ready for my race. Yeah. So once again, wonderful job, Mad Cat. Um, great playing, very skilled. And I will see all of you in about 30 minutes when it is my turn. Absolutely. Play Earthbound. Oh, yeah. Bye. Thanks for uh, the commentary unknown. Oh, yeah. And thanks to you as well. For sure. Bye-bye. How far along is Nano in the race? Does it appear um, I can't? I'll pull it up on a different device quick. Hold on. I think she's still got two sanctuaries. She's right now okay. going to North Onet. Ah. Yeah, so she's going to get so that, close. that buzz buzz teleport. It was a really close race. And yeah. I told Attack Slug, um, you know, a death from either of y'all can put one of y'all ahead or one of y'all behind. Oh, absolutely. It looks like Nano's taking that hill climb. Yeah. Yes. I've got it pulled up on another device right now so I can see it. Yeah, she went and did mole caves. Um, so she mm. got a lot of XP from that. But she never oh, yes. went and got the key to the shack and went back to Happy Happy Village. Oh, did she set her return mice there as well? I think so. I think, yeah. Oh, okay. That was a very convenient spot to set the mice. Looks like Nano reset her clock. Hmm. Looks like she does not have Paula. Yeah. Though so I know the ki the cabin key was a loose item pickup for me. Right. Yeah, and she never got that. So mm -hmm. unfortunately, she didn't get the opportunity to go back. But she's gonna get the Delon kid, which I think you skipped out on, didn't you? You just went I straight. I did skip out on the Delon kid. When I saw ah. that that Delon sanctuary is fourth, it means I'm guessing that the carrot key is going to be her item here. Though I'm not for certain. Thanks, Rocky, for pointing that out. I can't remember if she got the carrot key or not. I It looked like it was sitting somewhere in Ness's inventory. But either way, I did catch that Jeff has the carrot key as his item. So oh, wow. <laughs> she will be in her go mode, which is good. Would not be fun for Jeff to send you on a wild goose chase. Right. These enemies here were scary. I am well, I, glad I had repels through it. I bet, yeah. Ooh. She got the green swirl. She could run, but... She might have this. I think she's got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good job. Oh no! I suppose we you have to have to some it. reds to make up for greens. Right. I hate those caterpillars. They're just, they're the worst. Oh, absolutely. 
with that high speed and then hitting you with fire every round. And if you're not ready for that, then you're going to mm -hmm. have a bad time. I used to always be like, what? why are they so bad? Why do people think they're so horrible? And now I understand that fire is <laughs> simply awful. They give you that delicious XP, but At is it cost? worth it? Right. At what cost? She got that cleared out pretty good. Oh, yes, indeed. And she's still got one more sanctuary to go. Yes. Hopefully that sign of banana isn't too awful. Taking that return mouse. And... Will she be going to Forside? Looks like so. Absolutely. I was thinking about it because I was doing a practice earlier today and I didn't and I ended up wiping to whatever I forget what the sewers boss was. They should have oh, like no. a Eagle Land Museum pass. <laughs> right. Free entrance into both the Foresight and Summers Museum. The people demand it, Tomar. Add the day pass. <laughs> Be great for business. roaming through the sewers. I don't remember what the sewers boss was. I think Just... he was Nightmare. I think I almost took a wipe to it. Uh, I think... Oh, wait, no, no, that, was, uh, yeah. that was a difference. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was earlier. Somewhere. Yeah, this you is know? gonna be Everdread. Rocket Beta just absolutely takes care of everything. Oh, yeah. Having that Rocket Beta is just so good. Great use of the return mouse. Indeed. I'm going to check that store. With Nano having hit the mines, she gets access to those extra two mouse, which is definitely helpful. Oh, yeah. I was actually wondering that. I almost went to the mines just to pick up the mice, but... I feel like the length it takes to walk to the mines from either teleports is just so long that it's practically the same as walking out of a sanctuary. Right, yeah. But having the uh, the abridged dungeons does make it a little bit shorter. Just a little. If I didn't have pink- if I had two really long ones to get out of, like Underworld and... Underworld and Sewers, then I might have. Yeah. Because, like, with Pink Cloud... You just drop down that hole and climb up the rope and you're gone. And there's the added bonus of a present, too. 
Yeah. And like with Giant Step, you can get that cliff teleport. Mm hmm And we got Nano going to check the shops. I was telling Slug okay. earlier, I never I never check the the shops or the present when I get the magic in. I just I go straight to the boss. Yeah. I haven't been lately. I did it today just because I picked up all my money early. Yeah. And honestly, I wasn't even expecting that Delon. I didn't even know if that Delon store would have had repels or not. I was just hoping, and I'm glad it worked out. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I feel like I've never not found repels there unless it's a generate food. Yeah. Nano going to check that present. Ooh, that's a good one. Cornbone Ness. You, you wrote that. I did write that. <laughs> Ooh, that's a pretty moon side or magic camp palette. Oh, yeah. I always love the color slots. The color palettes are so nice. Yeah. Deputy Dangle getting hyped for the cornbone nests. Absolutely. Oh no, that's a bossy or that's a magic can enemy you don't want to take. Uh, yeah, indeed. Putting everyone to sleep too. How rude. Looks like she got through. Let's hope she doesn't get caught on any of these car painters. Yeah. And easy, hopefully easy boogie tent. Hit him with that bomb and that rocket. And you got this. Absolutely. Yes, attack slug. Uh, got it. Jeff from uh, Delam. Which Mad Cat never went even bothered to check? No, who needs Jeff? Right. <laughs> A great source. Woohoo! And a big GG to Nano. Yes. We'll see if she is willing to get in for a post race interview. Mm hmm. Looks like she's in the net right there. There she is. There we go. Hello, 
Hello and welcome. Well, she's muted right now, so. Yes. Ooh, oh, huh? I guess not. Or maybe she's having some technical difficulties. Always the tech. Hello and welcome. Hello. Hello. Sorry about that. I accidentally closed out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll something I would do. While I was trying to unmute myself. There we go. Hello. <laughs> That was brutal, but it was fun. Uh, yeah, it was, brutal. it was a rough race. Um, oh Had I not lost so much time at the beginning, I probably would have been a little bit closer on time. But well, it, really both of y'all awful. Both of y'all took a couple of deaths um, there at the beginning, so it was it was close for a while. I would say. Yeah, that was a tough one. It was very weird routing all the way through. So. Yeah, we were all commenting on that. It was it was a very strange seed indeed. And just the start locations, like that's probably one of the worst combinations you can have for 